Welcome to another edition of Trots here, Bus. Uh, do a quick segment today about uh, this nonsense you've been hearing about uh, uh, Hillary Clinton attacking Tulsi Gabbard, um, that she's an uh, agent of uh, Russia, and uh, oh, obviously she is. I mean, the reason I say it is because the fake far left loves Tulsi Gabbard, okay? They just love her more than anything in the world. Um, there's nothing. There's no wrong she can do. I've uh, posted a video, and if you want, please put in the comment section. You want me to send you a, a video of her talking to a Christian conservatives pro-Israel uh, meeting at a meeting like that. Now, there's no one the fake far left hates more than Israel, and for to go to the conservative religious right, I even hate the religious right. But Tulsi spoke with them and she told them how great a job they're doing and how she supports them, loves Israel, loves everything they do about Israel. So to me, it's just why they like her other than her being uh, a pawn of Putin. Um, it, it, there's no other reason for it. I mean, uh, Tulsi is no leftist. Don't kid yourself. She um, voted for, she, well, she was, her family did gay conversion. But besides that, she voted for the Trump military increase. Right? What kind of leftist does that? She voted for sanctions against Iran. She voted for fracking. She voted against withdrawing from Iraq and Syria. This is no leftist by any means. Uh, she's a pup, uh, Putin puppet, obviously. Do I give a shit whether a Putin puppet or a puppet of Soros or George, uh, Warren Buffett or Mike Bloomberg, whether one of their puppets or one of Putin puppets, puppets win? Does it matter to me? No, it doesn't. The advantage that Hillary and her, the, they can say, oh, hey, Putin's not American. That makes all the difference in the world. Trust me, Putin and Soros and Buffett and Hillary and the Tulsi Gabbard are all your enemies. They're my enemies and your, your enemies as well. The same is true of um, the fake far left, the Jimmy Doors, the humanist report. All they are is the new MSNBC. Remember when MSNBC first came on, and we, you know, Keith Oldman, he was actually a leftist, not a leftist, but he wasn't as far as Fox News. We thought, oh my God, this is wonderful. They're so great. Keith Oldman's great. You know, uh, Rachel Maddow's great. They're all great. We love them. Uh, is that how you think about him now? No. Because they, when, you know, when the chips were down, they still went along with um, the... Republicans with these after names, also known as the Democrats, they can differentiate between Bernie and Hillary. Well, today the fake far left is giving themselves away as well. You know, their support for let this be a lesson to all of us that their support for Tulsi, their undying way, they won't waver. They love her more than anything. Why? Because they're no different from MSNBC supporting Hillary. Tulsi is no leftist. Okay, she tries to pretend she is. Just like um, Elizabeth Warren tries to pretend she is. Okay, there's no difference here. Tulsi is not. I know, and of course she served in the military. She served in the military. She, she served. Do you know she served in the military? Well, of course. Who do they, who do you think they're going to put Osama bin Laden's son on the ballot? Of course they're going to put someone who looks the part. Of course, someone. Oh, she served in the military. She must be patriotic. Come on, come on. Um, this is just them outing themselves, and I'm glad they're doing it. That's the best part of all this. They're pretending to be something they're not. They're enemies of America, just like uh, Fox News, just like MSNBC, just like the, the puppets in the Democratic Party and the puppets in the, right, in the Republican Party. Whether it's Donald Trump or Hillary or Jill Stein, she's no better. She's no better, please. Or Tulsi, they don't give a shit about us. Um, this election means nothing right now. Uh, Bernie looks like he's half dead. He's not going to recover from that. He's not going to be the nominee. He's too old and sickly to be the nominee. It's not going to be Joe Biden. It'll be Elizabeth Warren, Elizabeth Red Herring. And they're all going to, oh, you got to back her. Can't have a third party now because she's a real progressive, a real leftist. Bullshit. She's a puppet just like Tulsi is. There's no difference at all between them. And... Um, that's why I was surprised that a lot of the fake left wasn't attacking her. They were actually um, 
bad, uh, thing that Hillary has no proof and no proof. And, no, and they weren't bringing up the fake far left. Maybe that's why they're doing it. They don't want the average person to know about the fake far left. Because the fake far left does say, make some good points. They say, hey, we shouldn't talk about Russia because there are more important things to talk about. When in reality, they don't want us to talk about Russia because they work for Russia. They all work for RT, or most of them work for RT. RT is Russia today. <laughs> so they make their point. They're controlled opposition, just like MSNBC. All right, that's the important thing to learn here. And no, Tulsi, who gives a shit about Tulsi Gabbard? You know, I, anyhow, uh, that's about it. Please tell me what you think, whether you like, dislike. Um, you know, the only person you can trust is uh, moi. <laughs> here, here's how you know that I'm not fake. Is look at the number of viewers I have, number of subscribers that I have. Trust me, if there was someone big behind me, I'd have thousands, millions probably. All right, so... You know the numbers. Thank you for watching. I know I have, there's very few of us here, very few people watch it, but thank you. And uh, nah, nah. don't listen to Jimmy Dore or T Y. There's no and we knew. Oh, you know, I'm sure you don't listen to T Y T, but uh, you minister Porter, those, all of them, they're all bullshit. All right. Uh, thank you. And uh, Trotsky's out.